On the first episode of the vlog, I showed you my 1987 AE86, before and after I rolled it on the track at Club Loose. We had the car towed to John's and managed to get it inside of the garage. We had to get the car up on the lift to see how much damage I'd done, aside from the shell. And I got really lucky. Looks good. That thing looks solid. It looks like it ripped out anywhere. No, it looks like it does every time we put your car in the air. <laughs> so it seems like all I needed was a new shell, and it looked like we were on to something. Hey man, I might have exactly what you guys are looking for. Granted, I really shouldn't part with it, but I might be into selling it to the right person for the right price. Ouch. Super duper clean 1985 SR5 hatch shell. Alright, that 86 that we found in the last episode was not the one. So, I started searching everywhere, and it was looking a little bit bleak. I was, I was finding a lot of cool coupes, but I really, really wanted to hold out for a hatch. So, eventually I found this one. It's a red 1986 hatchback, and it looks really clean. It doesn't run, but that's kind of perfect for this project. The interior is all there, and there's only one problem with it. It's in California, and I'm in New Jersey but I figured it was worth at least sending a text. Oh my god, I saw you on Progression D. I'm down, just film me when you buy it. That is the coolest Craigslist response ever, so I had to get it. In all honesty, I had to be in LA in a couple days for work anyway, so the timing just worked out perfectly. And I made it there, and you can tell, because here's some stock footage. I'm pulling up to Casey's right now, and it is so good in person. If I had this, I've dumped so much money into this car, it's my baby, and if you flip it, I'm gonna kill you. So there you go, that's about it. <laughs> Guy from Washington brought it down to San Diego, and then I bought it from him. He, he already had done the engine swap and everything and made it all like ready to drift, so that was cool. But ever since then, I've had it for like 10 years and just been trying to keep up with it. and. It's been fun, but like now I just need to like move on with the next project. And of course, I had to have the the cup holder. You have to. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. So like next time I'm uh, next time I'm sitting in this car, it's gonna be in John's garage, back in uh, back in New Jersey. Cool man. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the uh, sh truck to grab it should be here uh, in a couple days, and then it'll be uh, it'll be off to New Jersey. There's Sheila. She's on the bed right now. Get picture when you push it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so we had to end up pushing the car huh? with the with my MR2. So here it is, right there. Bam, she's looking pretty. Take care of her, okay, man? She's been good to me, she'll be good to you, as long as you're good to her. And if you're not good to her, they're gonna hunt you down, and then shit might happen, I don't know. I might have to outdrift you or something. But anyway, that's your car, hopefully you get it soon, in one piece and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you, Sheila. Love you, bye. Take care of her. And only about eight days later, the 86 had arrived. And gently and it's on. car. Found it in California. 1986 Toyota Corolla SR5 conversion. Um, it is so clean. And it's a hatch. And it's got a privacy cover. Privacy cover, the carpet, the it's plastic. It's not for sale. The jack, there's a spare tire under there. There's, it's got like everything. It's kind of amazing. It's not worth pulling up. Yes, it is. There's a spare tire. It's an OEM spare tire. What do you mean it's not worth pulling up? The struts are pretty okay. The struts are rough. 
Already did a little bit of interior cleaning, some swapping. Got my Nardi back in, got the, uh, got the shift knob back in, some floor mats, wiped her down. Overall, very, very clean though. Get Good. the door jams and get the doors. Show people that there's no rust because if you told me, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, there really is no rust on this thing. It's pretty wild. I think Hosen doesn't have any rust on the uh, doors, but I'm not gonna say, you know. Hosen's an anomaly. Rust. His doesn't count because I don't know. It defies all logic. Engine bay is pretty good. We have a uh, have a red top 16 valve. Uh, the head has HKS cams, which is cool. Um, the block is blown. There's a hole in the side. Can you see it from here? Yeah, there it is. There's the crankshaft. Okay. But luckily, we don't need the engine. We don't need the transmission. We don't need pretty much everything except the shell which is super clean and a few interior parts which are also super clean so uh yeah gonna get gonna get this underway this is uh this is happening real fast <laughs> oh, fuck, that sounds funny. so the hatch is here we got it in the garage uh time to push the coop in and start trying to figure out what we can take off of it uh, what's gonna get left behind, but I just want to get this interior out because some water's getting in with some storms and uh, I do not want to ruin anything, you know, more than it already is. Fuck this. Are you gonna steer? <laughs> yep, I am steering. Hold on, let me run to the back. Can you hold it? Yep. Nope. Alright. Let's roll it and then go. Oh. Alright, John, you got it. You can't film this. Right. <laughs> and effortlessly, the coupe is inside. So I went to bring my car over. start but yeah it's all good I fucking hate Corollas they never fucking start they're pieces of shit all right we have to tear this whole thing apart all of this stuff is going into the hatch so everything's got to come out clean gauge cluster out Uh, we're taking the dashboard out. Um, Eric took out pretty much all the uh, front end of the interior, um, and it's basically already stripped. The hose back there. I should just. Uh, oh wow! Inside-out wiring. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a there's a uh, Phillips. Where my clothes hot cold? Yep. That's good. A Tuscan Raider. <laughs> there it is. And it's almost mint like it, you know, was about 15, 20 minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I've ever noticed that before. Yeah, I've never had either. This was my doing, but I think that'll be fixable with a little bit of heat. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Cleaner than mine. All right, so we just stripped most of the interior out of the coupe. Um, it's very strange to see it empty with its guts kind of spewing out now. Um, and we have everything kind of neatly organized on the floor now, um, ready to be put in the new shell whenever that time comes. Guys, I found the, cu the main cap. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just sitting there. I can't believe yeah, it's that. Wow, that made this whole trip in California just sitting right like there. You're gonna keep this right? You should make a necklace out of this. 
Absolutely, I'll wear it all the time. JDM bumper charm, dude. Have it hanging from the rear view. Just crack your windshield when you hit a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Looks all right. I don't know what he did to blow it up. I would rent it to like 12K. Excuse you. It's incredibly clean. There's no rust. Uh, all the weatherproofing is still here, which is amazing. So there's a full look at the 8.6. I'm really excited. There's a lot of work ahead, but I think it'll be done in no time. I'll give it like four months, maybe. Six, to give or take like three or four more. You're driving your Corolla! Oh my god! Okay. Brakes work, right? Hey! You stop. So there it is. Day one with the new AE86. I am so happy it made it here. I can't thank Casey enough for holding out <laughs> until I got to LA. And I'm so happy that it's home. Uh, so in the next vlog, we're going to pull the engine out of the coop, pull the engine out of the hatch, and get things going. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I cannot believe how many views the first one got. I did not expect that, even in the slightest. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about before I go. Uh, the first is a short film that I just directed called The Outrunners. It's all about drifting, the 80s, arcades, and I think you're really going to like it. So I'm going to show you a 30 second preview right now. Hey nerds! I heard someone's trying to make my girl their player too. You and me, next Friday night, one race in Outrunners. Outrunners is the hardest game in the entire arcade. No one messes with the speed boys. I'm never going to beat Max. Max might be fast, but you have heart. We need this arcade! Loser leaves for good. You're on. So there is a look at the Outrunners. If you want to check out the full movie, the link is below in the description. And the other thing I wanted to tell you about is stickers. I have stickers available right now if anyone wants to pick some up. And as always, Hosen has stickers available from Progression D, so check those out as well. The link for that is also below. And that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for checking out this vlog, and I will see you soon.